Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop. Uh, I've got a number of chucks. I'm very, I'm, I'm blessed to have, have all these, these chucks. Uh, and I've got more jaws than I, than I have chucks actually, actually. I guess you'd call that a first world problem. And I'm, I'm not complaining. But uh, all my chucks, except for a couple of them, have a one and one quarter inch thread on them. And I just want to take a moment in this tip of the week to explore with you the difference between a, a spindle adapter and a chuck insert. Because this can be confusing, especially the brand new wood turners that are buying your first chuck or getting your first lathe or have your first lathe and buying your, uh, your first chuck or, or you're looking around, looking around at, at used equipment. Okay, first let's talk about a spindle adapter. There's lots of different sizes of spindle adapters which basically take a, uh, a spindle and change it from one thread to another. And my Pyromatic has a one inch by one and a quarter. Uh, and that's, that's what this spindle adapter uh, fits to. Now the, the exterior male thread, in this case, is a one inch uh, by eight which fits almost every mini lathe and mini lathe out there. Uh, sometimes it gets stuck a little bit so I do have this slip and lock nut wrench which makes it real easy to, to pop it loose. And in this particular one it was, uh, I thought it was interesting to note, I had to actually grind this thing down because the threads were so long that they, uh, on this uh, precision midi, they actually bottomed out against the uh, jaw glides and I couldn't couldn't get it all the way down, so I had to grind it, grind it down. And like I say, you can get them in all different sizes. You can get them from one inch to convert to a three quarter. You can get a three quarter that converts to a one inch. So just to look around uh, to to see what you need if you do have a different size uh, chuck. Now, let me show you one more uh, spindle adapter because this one looks so much different. Uh, this comes with a number of different. Uh, devices. I didn't have to go out and pay extra for this, but it, it happened to, to have come with my, my collet uh, my collet chuck system. I've got a video on this collet chuck. Uh, if you're interested, click on the the, <laughs> the eye symbol. Uh, but it, it came with that and I keep one of these in my toolbox when I'm traveling. What it converts to is it takes a one inch thread and it converts it to a one and a quarter. Again, you can get different sizes, but it's it's light, small, lightweight. I can carry it with me in my box. So if, if for some reason I'm someplace with a one and a quarter inch chuck and a mini lathe, I can adapt it very easily just with that little little insert. So I, I tend to carry that in my kit with me all the time. The reason you need these on is for some chucks, such as this Precision Midi, it's called a direct thread. In other words, it is threaded permanently into the body with one size and you can't change the insert. And I'll go into an insert in just a moment. And I have a larger uh, Titan, Nova Titan chuck here that has one and a quarter thread and it again is direct threaded. So if I wanted to change this to a different, different size, I can't imagine what it's such a heavy uh, chuck, maybe to an M33 if for some reason if I had a uh, European or Australian lay with M33. Uh, but in other words, you can't change this except by using a spindle adapter. Now, most, most chucks come uh, with the ability to change from one, ch one uh, lathe to another by means of, of what they call inserts. And they, they fasten on in different ways. Uh, one way fastens on with some set screws. The record power, as I have here, uh, uses a threaded insert. This one I really like uh, it, in that it's, it's so machined, so precision tight and smoothly that you can tighten it by hand easily. And I guess what I especially like is it it registers or the flat areas come together and mate uh, where you can visibly see it and know you've got it got it registered then you you use a very small uh, set screw that, that that usually comes with your insert that goes into the 
into the, the uh, is set through the chuck body and it tightens a, a tiny little uh, uh, insert screw that has a little protective cover of leather or something else that keeps it from damaging uh, the threads uh, on your on your insert. Now the other chucks, for example, let me show you a Nova. Now the Nova chuck, uh, most of them come with inserts. Some of the, some, as I mentioned, some some chucks are direct threaded. This particular model, the the G3, uh, uses an insert to adapt to the different lathes. Uh, this one is threaded, similar to the Record Power. I don't like it quite as as well because it registers on the inside of the chuck, which is a little more difficult to see, and you really have to get a wrench to crank this thing down to make sure it registers. I've seen complaints on forums where they say the chuck's running out of true. The only reason it's running out of true is they never got it to register because they didn't tighten it down enough because it was it was such a snug fit. But similar to the uh, the other one, uh, the Record Power, it has a little uh, inset, a little grub screw with a little protective cover to to tighten it down. Uh, this one has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six sizes. Hex, I guess that's hexagonal. Uh, so if if your wrench, if your chuck gets uh, stuck on the lathe, you can use a wrench similar to this uh, this spud wrench I got. Uh, it's cheap, but it, it does the job. Uh, if you need to pop it pop it loose, uh, some of them, such as this this record power, uh, uses a a special spanner. Uh, picking up the wrong chuck here. The record power chuck uh, has these little uh, inset holes and it uses this, this special uh, spanner spanner wrench which works very well to pop it loose and gives you some some leverage. Here's a 3 quarter by 10 inch thread uh, spindle adapter I got from uh, Penn State as part of uh, when I was trying to build a uh, threading jig because uh, it threads onto coarse rod and then allows me to inexpensively adapt that to a, a chuck. Is there a difference between using a spindle adapter and actually changing out the uh, the insert? Yes there is and you can see the biggest difference is that when you use a spindle adapter uh, it's going to push the chuck a little further away from the, the headstock uh, so all things being equal you're more likely to have a run out problem or because this will worsen any run out problem you, you've got or it might add some run out problem. Generally the uh, spindle, the chuck inserts made, made by the manufacturer are probably going to have the most most accuracy and it does allow you to keep the chuck a little, little closer. Uh, that said, that doesn't mean you're going to always have a problem and this is an easy way to, to uh, occasionally use a different size chuck. I hope this has been useful to you. Uh, if so, please, please give it a like and get any comments, please share them with me. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.